Good morning, everybody. Today is February 11th, Tuesday, 2020. The stock market is at the all-time high. And uh, this is great news for investors, but at the same time, it's not super great if you're a buyer because the higher the stock market the worse the price you could get into it because you're buying at the very top and you missed a huge run that we had in the last uh, two weeks after we had a major sell-off based on coronavirus scare that came all the way from china however right now uh, the fear of this disease is actually uh, coming down because uh, the number of people who actually die from it is literally um, very minimal so what happens is that we have a car that a car where the guy was texting while driving I hate people like this because they cause a lot of car accidents and uh, they suddenly slow down to like a minimum speed because they cannot focus at the on the phone and at the same time on uh, the road so I wish we had uh, some technology that would prevent people from you know dialing their phone and I think it is possible to do uh, because uh, you know your phone knows how fast you're going. So, uh, what was I thinking? What was I? Th oh, okay, I was talking about uh, the stock market being very, very high. So, um, uh, right now, the uh, as I said, the fear from the coronavirus that killed around a thousand people so far is coming down because the economic damage that could uh, you know potentially be projected on the economy is not that great yes we have a slowdown in uh, China and the Chinese stock market is actually declining but the interesting thing is it's kind of good for America because stock markets compete for cash investors uh, especially institutional investors every day make a decision if they should put money into United States or maybe they should put their money in China Europe uh, maybe uh, Asia and uh, such as Japan or North Korea all those Asian Tigers so <clears throat> currently the, situa <clears throat> the situation on in China actually pushes investors out of the Chinese market and since most money do not just turn itself into cash they just switch uh, the areas where they invested the money are flowing from Chinese markets to American markets that's why Chinese market is declining and American market is setting up record highs so my advice for this week or for um, <clears throat> maybe next week is to still uh, consider you know buying the stocks but don't just buy them at the current levels buy them at uh, some substantial dips that we will have no matter what because uh, as they say on the stock market trees don't grow to the sky what came up very quickly and uh, very high usually will come down because uh, people are scared you know they're scared that uh, they're scared to invest because uh, the uh, you know the uh, when the market is uh, is at all-time high uh, people just feel that nobody nobody likes to buy at the very top they want to uh, make sure that you know they have some kind of um, profit potential and um, uh, when you are at the, the all-time high it's uh, kind of hard to predict how far people will push the stock market up so 
I would consider uh, buying, putting buy orders, but putting uh, a limit, limit buy orders where, uh, for example, if you're talking about DIA, which is uh, ETF that uh, um, tracks Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, uh, and it's being traded right now at 294, $292, uh, $293 a share. I would actually consider putting a buy order at let's say $290, you know, three or four, you know, dollars before the current price because uh, it will definitely have some dips. Or Dow Jones will definitely have some dips because, um, you know, if it grew, like it's been growing the last week or so, Dow Jones will be 100,000 points by the end of the year. <clears throat> but we all know that it's not gonna happen. You know, last year, for example, we had a great year where S&P 500, which, you know, closely tracks Dow Jones, went up almost 30%, which was unheard of. So, but for, uh, the stock market to actually have a more or less reasonable amount of growth, it needs to have some sell-off sessions. It needs to have, you know, some dips when, uh, you know, the growth is more or less metered and it's not uh, just ultrasonic and goes to the roof because the market just basically doesn't work like that. So consider, uh, buying blue chips or Dow Jones index ETFs or S&P 500 index ETFs such as SPY or NASDAQ 100 ETF which is QQQ but put limit orders and buy them at the dips so don't wait for the dip yourself just put a limit order three four five dollars below the current price and you should be able to get it if you want to know what to do with the rest of 5,000 actively traded stocks, please go to the website 2stx.com that will take you directly to the Apple App Store and uh, you would be able to download, install and run this app on your iPhone, iPad and Apple TV. It covers 5,000 stocks with daily updated buy and sell recommendations. Thank you for your time and good luck trading.